morning, greetings friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, and while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you. Our number today is 844-236-6010. That's 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, formulations, ingredients, skin health, skin health or skin care issues, we can help you. If you want to sign up and join the Brightside Ben team, you have questions about the longevity business, we can help you there as well. And of course, if you have a success story you'd like to share, or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll get your calls in our next segment. We have a guest coming up at the bottom of the hour, Robin Shea, creator of the 80-20 Lifestyle, and also uh, the star of Cooking 80-20 with Robin Shea on the Paula D Network. She's a chef and an author new ebook, Reinvent Your Life, Four Steps to Change. We're going to be talking about winterizing your workout now that winter is approaching. Winter is right around the corner. Many of us tend to be sedentary during the winter months. Robin's going to tell us how easy it is to winterize our exercise program, winterize our workout. Robin Shea in the bottom of the hour. We'll get your calls here in our next segment. If you're interested in purchasing any of the Truth Treatment products, or our Retinol 5% Gel, or our Vitamin C, Truth Balm, Truth Serum, you can head over to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Make sure you take a look at the Retinol 5% Gel, especially if you're dealing with acne or hyperpigmentation or accelerated aging. Retinol is a go-to, must-have active ingredient for all anti-aging, all skin health issues, really. If you're using a skin care or skin health program, if you're using skincare products and you're not using retinol and you're interested in anti-aging or getting rid of hyperpigmentation, dark spots or acne or wrinkles or fine lines, and you're not using retinol, you are truly missing the boat. But you can't just use any retinol. You've got to have enough of it. And that's why I made my 5% retinol. I've been working with it for over 30 years in the pharmacy. And now it's available to you as retinol 5% gel. Head over to truthtreatments.com and check it out. Truthtreatments.com. Okay, we're talking hormones and we're talking fats. If you grew up like me in the 1960s and 1970s, you may be under the, uh, under the illusion or you may be laboring under an illusion that fats are somehow bad for you. Nothing could be further from the truth. Fats are urgently important for hormone health. They're important for skin health. They're important for heart health. They're important for brain health. By the way, coconut oil, more and more we're learning about coconut oil and MCTs, medium chain triglycerides that make up maybe 20 to 60% of coconut oil, depending on who you ask are very important for brain health, very important for folks dealing with Parkinson's dementia, Parkinson's disease, or Alzheimer's disease. I'm not going to get too much into the whole thing about good fats and bad fats. I just want to talk about the good fats. The good fats come in two varieties. They call them saturated and unsaturated. The bad fats are the processed fats. The good fats are saturated and unsaturated. They're natural fats. you got to be a little bit careful with the liquid fats, the unsaturated fats. This is where oils get a bad reputation, and this is where nutritionists that I respect and healthcare pr practitioners that I respect, some have gotten the idea that somehow you should be staying away from these things, and I don't agree. Even though I respect these guys, even though I respect these naturopaths and, and nutritionists who are saying this, and some of my friends are saying this, I don't agree. There are so many wonderful benefits that not only from a, from a biochemical or a chemical perspective these oils have in them, and there's not, not only is it omega-6 oils and omega-3 oils that you get from, or omega-6 fats and omega-3 fats that you get from these oils, super duper important, but I've seen the results with my own eyes. 
I've seen menstrual cramps disappear and fat cravings disappear and skin health issues disappear and dry skin go away when people start to use these kinds of oils that are supposedly verboten, they're supposedly forbidden. So I can't, uh, I can't buy into the idea that you have to avoid oils, but what I can buy into and what I do agree with is you have to be very careful with these unsaturated liquid oils, especially vegetable oils that are rich in omega-6 and omega-3 fats. Your nutritional oils, you have to be very careful with them. And when I, when I say careful, I mean you've got to keep them in the refrigerator. They need to be in a dark bottle. And you want to use them fresh. And you want to keep them out of, uh, you want to keep them uh, uh, away from oxygen. So away from light, away from oxygen, and in a cold place, and you want to use them fresh. Under those circumstances, there's too many health benefits to using these kinds of oils for me to tell you that you want to stay away from them. I don't agree with a lot of my friends who are nutritionists and naturopaths who tell you to stay away from these oils. We'll leave it at that for now. If you have questions, you can call us at 844-236-6010. That having been said, that having been said, you do want to be careful with these kinds of oils. Supplementing with oils is not necessarily a problem because the gel caps protect the oil. But what we're talking about is bottled oils. There's a lot of controversy around essential fats, how much we need, the proportions, the relationships, and there's no consensus. Some people will tell you one-to-one -one between omega-3 and omega-6, your two essential fatty acids, and FYI, omega-9s are not essential fatty acids. I don't know why people think that, even though they're included oftentimes in EFA supplements and essential fatty acid supplements, omega-9, technically called oleic acid, is not Repeat, not an EFA, not an essential fatty acid. Here's something else for you. DHA and EPA, the active ingredients, if you will, in fish oil, those aren't essential fatty acids either. The only two essential fatty acids are omega-3, or technically alpha-linolenic acid, we call it omega-3, and omega-6, alpha-linoleic acid. DHA and EPA are very important, especially for the eyes and the brain and the nervous system. Super important for babies, fetuses in the womb need DHA and EPA. Moms should be supplementing with DHA and EPA, but they're not essential in the sense that your body can make them. This is, this is the meaning of essential. Essential means you got to have it because your body can't make it. DHA and EPA do not fit the bill. They're important, but they're not essential. The only essential omega-3 fatty acid is called alpha-linolenic acid, and it's found in seeds, particularly flax seeds. Chia seeds also are a good source of these hemp seeds, too. Again, DHA, EPA are not essential fatty acids. And, by the way, omega-9, oleic acid, not an essential fatty acid. The only two EFAs are omega-3 and omega-6, alpha-linolenic and alpha-linoleic acid. Now, the ratios of the omega-3 to omega-6, nobody really knows how much you need. Some people will tell you, by the way, that you get too much omega-6s, and that's not true either. Because all the misunderstandings here in the world of fats, yes, it's true that we get the grains and the, the foods and the vegetables that should have omega-6s in them, but because most of us are eating our omega-6s from supermarket oils in a clear bottle, processed omega-6s, heated omega-6s, deep fried omega-6s, we're not getting the omega-6s either. So if you're thinking or you're under the illusion or somebody told you that we get way more omega-6s than omega-3s and all you need to do is supplement with omega-3s, I'm not buying it because we process and we cook our omega-6s so we don't get the benefits. Long story short, supplement with both. Get yourself on the ultimate EFAs. And again, just like there's no consensus on the ratios, the proportions of omega-6s to omega-3s, there's no consensus on how much we need. So what you want to do is you want to dose yourself to the point where you don't crave fatty foods. If you're a woman, you want to dose yourself to the point where you have nice, even periods. You're not he they're not heavy, you're not cramping, you don't have PMS issues, and you want to dose yourself to the point where you don't have dry skin. That's the only way to really know how much you're getting or if you're getting enough, is if your symptoms or if signs disappear. If you don't have any symptoms, don't have any signs, well, three in the morning, three in the afternoon, three at night. There's really no way to know, folks. I wish I could tell you something more definitively. Same with the ratio, same with the proportion. Some people say one to one, two to one, three to one, four to one. There's no way to really know. At least one to one or two to one. But you wouldn't, uh, and that's omega-6 to omega-3. Thank you for listening to GCN. Be sure to visit GCNlive.com today. Okay.
Okay, we are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Got a couple lines open for you. 844-236-6010. We'll get your calls here in a sec. Just want to review real quickly if I confused anybody on this whole subject of essential fats. Point number one, whether or not essential fatty acids are unstable or uh, oils that contain essential fatty acids are unstable, you still need them. That means use them fresh. Make sure they're in a, uh, in a cold, uh, stored in a cold place. Make sure they're in a dark bottle. And it's a good idea to make sure you're using vitamin E with your essential fatty acids. Point number two, vitamin E is protective. We'll talk about vitamin E here in a sec. Point number two, the ratio of omega-6s to omega-3s is unknown. Some people say you need one part omega-6 to one part omega-3. Some people say four parts omega-6 to omega-1 uh, for every one part omega-3. There's no way to know. I'm going with two to one, four to one in that ratio, in that uh, ballpark. Omega six to omega three. Yes, you need more omega sixes than omega threes, and that's point number three. Whether uh, you may hear that omega sixes are something you don't need, we get too much of them. The American diet is filled with oils that should contain omega sixes, and that's true, but they don't because we process them, we cook them. They're old. So, in my opinion, because omega sixes are actually in a way, more important than omega-3s. Omega-3s are primarily brain and eye and nervous system supportive. The cells in the body depend on omega-6s. You need more omega-6s than omega-3s. I'm going 2 to 1 to 4 to 1, somewhere in that ballpark. Point number 3, or point number 4, DHA and EPA are not omega-3. They're important, or not essential fatty acids. They're important, but they're not essential. The only two essential fatty acids come from Grains and seeds, they're called omega-6s or alpha-linoleic acid, and then seed sources are your omega-3s, and that is alpha-linolenic acid. Fish oil contains DHA and EPA, so technically it is not essential. Fish oil, let me repeat that because that's probably freaking people out out there. Fish oil contains DHA and EPA, which are urgently important, but not essential. So if you're using fish oil for your EFAs, switch over to flax, in my opinion. All right, now vitamin E is stupendously vital because it protects fats. So if you're gonna use your EFAs, put some, make sure you're taking some vitamin E too. And a lot of essential fatty acid capsule supplements will have vitamin E already in them for this reason. Vitamin E is super protective against fats. I use vitamin E in skincare. When I'm, if I have to formulate for somebody or when I had to formulate for other folks and they wanted oils, I never use oil in my skincare products, by the way. You don't need oil, but they're cheap and a lot of people, a lot of marketers like to stick oil in their products. You can always tell a cheapo product, by the way, skincare product, if it's got sunflower oil or safflower oil or soy oil. These are crappy oils, and when they're in skincare products, they're typically already not acceptable for the food industry. They're already rancid. In any case, I used to use vitamin E in my skincare formulations because of its wonderful protective effects for fats, for EFAs particularly. So if you're going to use omega-6s and omega-3s and you're going to eat vegetable oils, which I recommend that you do a little bit at least, Make sure you're using 400 international units a day of vitamin E. There's different kinds of vitamin E. We've talked about this in the past. Vitamin E protects not just fats in terms of supplements, but vitamin E protects the fats in your body. Vitamin E protects the fats in your brain. Vitamin E protects the fats in all your cells. Vitamin E is unbelievably protective for the heart and the nervous system and the organs of the body, as well as each individual cell. And vitamin E is also vitally important for skin health. We'll talk about the different forms of vitamin E, how you can use vitamin E for endometriosis and for fibromyalgia, pretty much for all health challenges, and especially for skin health issues. We'll talk about that uh, on our next Bright Side episode. I want to get to the phones. 844-236-6010 is our number. We've got a guest coming up at the bottom of the hour, Robin Shea from uh, 8020. Cooking with 8020, which airs on the Paula D Network, and the author of the new ebook, Reinvent Your Life Four Steps to Change. Robin's going to talk to us about winterizing your workout. We'll do that in our next segment. Time to hit our phones. 844 236 6010 is our number. Rose, what's going on? Good morning. Hi, good morning, Ben. My prayers and love for you. How will I say, um, and I mean it, um, I'm a prayer warrior. How would I say, uh, I wanted to ask you a question. Yes, ma'am. How about high cholesterol? I have a dear person that uh, she lost her thyroid. I gave this testimony.